Hi, in this video we are going to set up a GPU miner for Quai Network's Golden Age testnet. As a reminder, this is the last testnet before mainnet launch, so rev up your GPUs and let's get going. I have my docs and my terminal open side by side. You can find the docs by docs.qu.ai and in there we go into the guide section and under the guide section you go under miner and item miner you choose your operating system. I choose to go to Ubuntu, today I'm installing for an Ubuntu machine and uh, you will have to have Ubuntu 20.04. You can try with other ones, but you might have to adjust the drivers that you're installing. I also have NVIDIA GPU that I'm going to be using. An important note here in the docs is that you cannot run your miner on a Windows machine because uh, there are certain firewall rules that Windows has and we do not have a build for it. If you'd like to run and you are on the Windows, you can dual boot using, for example, uh, Linux, Ubuntu distribution like I have here. Um, so you can dual boot your machine and have two operating systems on it. Uh, there are multiple tutorials on YouTube how to do that. Uh, using a virtual box or virtual machine will not work for it because it will still be kind of within Windows. So make sure to dual boot if you are using Windows. Um, but we are going to continue with our stuff on Ubuntu. Uh, we scroll down uh, past introduction and we have the requirements here. So for that you will need a synced Quai node. As I mentioned, the tutorial is already on the channel. You can go check that out. It does not make sense to mine unless your node is already synced because basically you'll be wasting hash and wasting electricity and money. So just don't do it. Wait until you're synced and check the Quai stats for that. I'll leave the link to the Quai stats page to check whether you're synced or not in the description to this video. Then you will need to have your considered, um, sorry, configured stratum proxy that is basically on the same machine that your node is running on that is broadcasting the node logs to your miner so your miner mines on the proper, well, I mean, in the proper place. You will need to have an Ubuntu machine with AMD or NVIDIA GPU and 4 gigabytes of RAM on that. Now, likely more RAM is beneficial. It usually is to make the process faster, but you don't have to have more. And now we're going to go ahead and set up our environment. So I have my stuff in Ubuntu, as I mentioned. So we're going to go ahead and just follow the docs. It's very simple, copy pasting. So there is a script in there and there are some downloads that you have to do. I'll just be copying and pasting the commands one by one. Once a download, once the first command is done with the downloading, you can uh, go and deploy the miner file and make it executable with uh, this command that you just copy and paste, you continue copy pasting and you run the script which is the sudo deploy miner shell script. Um, it's going to take about 10 minutes to complete. So once you create an output directory, that is uh, basically the script created it for you, uh, you will uh, go and make the file executable by copy and pasting this command into your terminal. Once you're done with that, we go on to the dependencies and drivers. And in there, once we are already done with that, we make sure that our NVIDIA or AMD drivers are up to date. And here I have my NVIDIA GPU, so I'll need to use the NVIDIA drivers and everything. So I just copy and paste all the commands right until reboot. It might take a minute or two to install. And um, once you're done, you'll have to reboot or restart your computer. Once I press it, I will disappear. So and welcome back, we just rebooted our system and we are ready to configure and run our miner. That is just one command. And here you have uh, the NVIDIA and AMD uh, command. It's just, just basically a couple of letters that are different, but make sure to pick the right one for your GPU. Here you will have to replace the stratum port and the proxy IP address. The default stratum port is 3333. So if you just followed my note tutorial from the previous video, it is 3333 for you as well. Don't change it. And if you changed it, I'm sure you know and you're aware that you changed it. So you just put the port in here. And the proxy IP address, it is the same address that your node has. So the machine where you're running your node and stratum proxy are usually the same machine. You figure out the IP address of that and you put it in this command. You can figure out in many different ways how to like know your IP. So for example, you can go to Google and you can ask what's my IP address and it will basically give it to you because duh, it knows your IP address. Or you can put this command, I'll put it on the screen, into the command line and it will also give you your IP address. 
So once you have that, uh, make sure to keep it very close to you when you're running this command. I usually just prefer to like change up the proxy IP address and stratum port uh, by opening another browser tab, pasting this uh, sample command in there, replacing the values, and then uh, putting in the remade command back into my terminal. So that's what we are about to do. So open up a Firefox in this case tab. I paste in this example command, put my stratum port as 3333, and put the IP address of my proxy in here. Once I do that, I paste it into my terminal, and there you go, you're running your miner. When you're mining, you can either get a work share that is basically a part of the block, or you can mine a full block. That just depends on your, basically, total hash rate that you have. And work share is just, um, you are contributing some work into the block, but you do not mine the full block. And therefore, you get a proportion of the rewards for the block. And just as the doc suggests here, again, it's an important reminder that if you are not synced and your node is not synced, it does not make sense to run your miner. You will not be profitable. It will actually be all invalid and you just waste your hash at that time. So wait until you're synced. There are snapshots that are posted regularly or will be posted regularly when I release this video uh, on Discord. So we will keep you updated to make sure you're syncing as fast as possible. But it is just something you have to do. The syncing process is an important part of this running of the blockchain. And if you'd like to stop your miner, you can of course just close your terminal, but if you'd like to maybe pause it and rerun it later, you can just press Ctrl C and this will stop your miner. If you have any questions, write in the docs. We have this white circle with a quiet logo right inside of it. There you can search up your answers or you can also drop a question in the comments. I'll try my best to help you, but sometimes the screenshots are needed. So for that, uh, go to our Discord, the quiet Discord. Link will be in the description. And we'll, we'll be very glad to help you. We have many, many, many helpful moderators and community members. And that's basically all I have for you in this video. I hope it was helpful. And uh, if so, please leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. Follow the note tutorial as well. And let me know what tutorial you would like to see next. And see you in the next one.